kids, Melissa here. And I'm Caitlin. And we are so glad that you are joining us for another activity hangout. Yeah. Now, we have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered what heaven and the new earth will be like? And if you have, what is one thing that you really, really hope will be in the new earth? What do you want? I really, 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 really hope that there are going to be unicorns. Unicorns? I've been wanting a unicorn. That would be awesome. Well, I really, really hope that there will be milkshakes. Oh. I know, like an Oreo milkshake with whipped cream and a cherry yeah. on top. Oh yeah, you know which one. Oh my gosh. Let's go get milkshakes. Okay, well we learned this past weekend about a man named John who actually got to go to heaven and he got to see some of the things that God has planned for this new earth and it's going to be amazing. So, if you missed our online service, just go to cfmiami.org slash kids and check it out. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that we did learn is that following Jesus is going to turn out greater than we can even imagine. So, since this is an activity hangout, we are going to do an activity that reminds us of our lesson and our bottom line. So, ready to know what we're gonna make? Yes. Okay, you can kind of see my bowl and the ingredients here. We are going to make something called cloud dough. Oh, that sounds so interesting. Right? It's gonna Wait, be fun. how does cloud dough have to do with our story? Oh, well, I was just thinking, you know, clouds make you think of heaven, and John went up to heaven. So. Yeah, I, I guess. Okay, well, how about this? Cloud dough only takes two ingredients, cornstarch and conditioner. So maybe you're thinking, two ingredients? That will never work, but it will. And the cloud dough is gonna turn out greater than you can even imagine. Don't worry, Mom. I still love it. What? It's just like the bottom line. Come on. Following Jesus turns out greater than you can imagine. Two ingredients turns out greater than you can imagine. I feel like Whatever, she doesn't get it. <laughs> okay, so let's just get started and make the cloud dough. Here's what you need. The cornstarch, conditioner. You're gonna need a little... Measuring cup? Measuring cup. It's, uh, I'm using half a cup measuring cup and a spoon to mix. Not usable. Okay, we'll start with the cornstarch. By the way, this could be a little messy. That's why I've put out a tablecloth. We are going to start with two half cups of cornstarch. Since we did two half cups of cornstarch, we are going to do one, one half cup of conditioner. Okay. I feel like I'm just gonna give it up. Start mixing it. Okay. So we are just going to mix, mix, mix. Make sure you use a nice big bowl so that you have plenty of space to mix oh, up your this ingredients. This looks so cool. And pretty soon, we're gonna have to stop using our spoon. And we're just gonna have to get into it with our hands. Oh, it smells so good though. I know. Okay, I'm going in. Oh wow, Ooh, that feels really so cool. Cool. It feels like sand. Like but like like chunky. Ew. Whoa. It's like so powdery. Oh guys, this is really cool. It's crumbly. I'll be honest though, it is turning out greater than I could have imagined. <laughs> Look at it, it's so cool. <gasps> Look! We did it! Ah, cloud dough. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed making your cloud dough. Yes, my hands are a little messy, but check this out. It's I so have soft. soft, fluffy cloud dough. That reminds me of when John was taken up to heaven and he got to see the new earth. I hope it reminds you of that too, and I hope you have lots of messy fun making this cloud dough. I'll see you guys next time. 
Bye.